Years ago, the video Force Nothing changed my life, changed Age of Empires 2, and brought a lot of people back to the game. And since then, we've done a lot of wacky settings, and we continue to do it every week. We have done big maps, and then we've also done very tiny maps. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the tiniest Age of Empires 2 map you will have ever seen, because in the most recent patch, they made it possible to make maps that are 36 by 36 tiles. So what better map to debut the smallest possible map than Force Nothing? <laughs> oh my god, what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Eight players on Force Nothing, the tiniest map ever. 36 tiles by 36 tiles, which for perspective, guys, is uh, about 90 tiles smaller than a tiny map. So what we've done here is a couple of things with this Force Nothing map. Obviously, they're very close to each other. So the players are positioned near the edge of the map, okay? And the other thing we've done is we have not made it possible for TCs to shoot arrows. Because this is a free-for-all. They're all enemies, and that would be a problem. Um, yes. The map is King of the Hill. And the way to win this is just like a standard King of the Hill game where you control the monument and the countdown goes down to zero. So, uh, let us get our introductions in. Normally, I go from player to player. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Uh, in the purple, we have Tux playing as the Byzantines. In the yellow, we have M -m 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 Matthew playing as the Vietnamese. Uh, in the red, we have the, Mis the Mysticals playing as the Vikings. In the orange, we have Bontano playing as the Malay. In the green, we have Steve Splinter playing as the Aztecs. Uh, it's going to be awkward without gold. Uh, in the teal, we have John playing as the Lithuanians. In the gray, we have uh, Fury Flame playing as the Goths. And then last but not least, we have the creator of the map and the person we have to thank for this in Shulker. Like, but like, look... <laughs> I, I, this is going to be my laziest cast ever. I don't need to move anywhere. So, um, the only other thing I should mention right now about this particular map is that the wonder does not give you gold and stone uh, and, and food. It only gives you wood. So, it's true force nothing experience. Uh, in normal King of the Hill, the wonder gives you a trickle of all resources. It does not. I wanted to see, forgive me, we're at 345. I actually wanted to see, if we go back to the very start, how many trees are we working with here? There is just over a thousand trees. That might seem like a lot, but with eight players, that is not going to last very long. Anyways, we can continue. And what madness we have here. Now, something that was pointed out before this launched is that the players are going to have some concerns with house spacing. Right? Like right now, they have the chop space for a house, which Shulker has done. So you really do need to make sure you're chopping in the right spots, which it looks like Teal is doing. Um, and Yellow's doing. But um, yeah, I mean, you're not going to have a lot of space for stuff, right? Like, it is 200 population, so you could, in theory, get to 200 population. But man, oh man, this is going to be difficult. And as far as your resources go, you've got 200 stone to work with. And you've got, well, I guess it depends on what you've spent already. But Aztecs start with 150. Everyone else started with 100. And there's no other ways to, like, there's no area to mine gold. Uh, you could eventually maybe find space for a market to sell some wood. But, like, pretty soon you're going to be cutting towards someone else's town center. So, dang. Um, someone pitched the idea to do the Exploding Kings mod on this. But if one person died, everyone would die. Like, this is incredibly tiny. Again, this is 36 by 36. Uh, and prior to this recent patch, it the tiniest was still, I think, 128 by 128. Sorry if I get the exact numbers wrong. So if there's a new setting, obviously we've got to do it. We've got to test it, and we've got to have some fun with it. And here we are. So I think Purple said he was going to go get a beer. So hopefully Purple's going to enjoy that beer, but... You know, I think Civ-wise, and we should talk about this with a level of seriousness, right? 
I think that Byzantines could be really strong here because they have cheap trash and trash costs food and costs wood. And you're not going to have a really big farm eco. <laughs> right? Um, I think Lithuanians could be nice because you get the extra 100 food at the start. Again, it's not going to be easy to get food. Um, and I can't believe I'm about to say this. But I think humans could actually be good because you could make a second TC in Feudal Age. If you make a second TC in Feudal Age, like, what do they do to, against your town center? I guess Byzantines do have more HP on their town center, so the Byzantine guy could delete one and rebuild one later, but... Dang. Someone says, Hi, Tristan. Could you please cast mid-Elo Legends as well? I think it'd be insightful for the majority of the audience. Well, um, good news for you is there's going to be a lot of YouTube uploads with mid-Elo. Uh, I did like five games the other day with some mid-elo, and I absolutely saw the need for that. So there you go. Um, Steve Splinter says, what story is T90 telling currently? Well, he knows me well. Um, I don't really have any stories about Smallwood. I only have stories about... No. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any stories, but I will say that anytime we do like a new nothing map or something that is, uh, you know, rather ridiculous... Uh, that makes me think of Force Nothing. I can't help but be very grateful that Force Nothing somehow got my channel rolling. Uh, it was what got my channel to snowball uh, at the start, and then other videos caught on. I am always really curious on what video brought people to my content, if it was a video. Uh, it's not just Force Nothing these days. A lot of people, you know, have, have since seen other videos, so maybe people could leave comments about that. But I have no stories, man, except for we are now down to... We have lost 50 trees of the 1,050 that started. We are, I mean, just flying here in this game. Sheesh! And the chicken story? No, no, no. The chicken story can be saved for another time. I told that recently. But see, you don't plan stories, really. They just come to me sometimes uh, when it feels like the proper time. OG community games. Hidden Cup 3 did it for me. Force nothing was the first one I saw. Okay, cool. Ring nothing is what brought me here. Oh, ring nothing was a classic. Okay. So, so a couple of the challenges they're going to have to face real quick. So we've seen it already. They build houses so they can create more vills. And then when they don't have the food anymore, they delete the house so they have the space again. And now we see a couple players trying to get the resources for farms. Uh, or the space for farms. So you build the mill because you have to have a mill before farms. And then the correct move is to delete the mill so you can get the farm space. So Shalker is even making a lumber camp. Which is a bit interesting because he doesn't have the food to go feudal. And he, <laughs> he can't build it. I do not see why you would want a lumber camp necessarily. But live your dream. Live your life. Uh, someone says, for me, it was a doubt game. Gotcha. Okay. Cool, cool. But but again, like the important perspective with Force Nothing was it, it was like a really fun hobby for me, right? And uh, I thought I would be stuck with 50 live viewers forever. I think it was 70 or 75. Uh, and then that I suddenly more people started to show up and then like more uploads and more things I'd put my effort and energy into started to get a bit more. And um, I, I genuinely feel very lucky about that because there is an element of luck that you can't deny. Um, I have since worked very hard. Wait, wait, we've got a farm. Sorry, we've got a farm. We have a farm from Mysticals. So Mysticals can... Oh, God, you have to delete the farm now to make a house to get the next veil, don't you? I think you do. But congratulations to for collecting enough food for Villager. That's pretty crazy here. But um, listen, since then, it's been... Force Nothing was 2017. It's been six years, and I poured my heart and soul into this man, and I continue to be very grateful to everyone who shows up and finds me uh, for whatever reason or whatever way you found me. And uh, whether it's on streams or videos or short-form content on sh the YouTube shorts and all that good stuff, I, I don't take it for granted. So thank you, everybody. All right. Again, the challenge is I cannot show you um, their, if they're pop capped or not because this capture age version doesn't do that. But the reason that food's not being spent is because he would have to delete the farm, make a house, make the bill, which I actually think would be worth it. 
because you have the wood, you can make a new farm. So there is some type of a meta here. A John with nine villagers because of Lithuanians, of course. The extra hundred food really paid off. Bum, 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 bum. It's pronounced the miskel. No, I made a joke before. I guess it's stupid to stick with inside jokes, but I'm pretty sure I mispronounced it before. And then he corrected me and I said something and something was said back and I pronounced it that way ever since. But I could say that as we have a TC gone for Matthew. So he could make a mill. <gasps> what? Oh, so he can farm. <laughs> Wait, can he get two farms in this bad boy? Okay, one farm. No, you can't get the second farm. Well, mo 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 math. You, I'm not really sure it's a good idea. Uh, but again, live your dream. Hmm. This is about as exciting as I thought it would be. Players building up and making progress. The mini map looks really cool, by the way. What's funny is if you were to take a screenshot of the minimap and just look at that, you wouldn't realize how tiny this map is. I think if anything, you would assume there's a very big space around the monument, <laughs> which is rather uncommon. Apparently, Matthew deleted a villager. Okay. And 10 villagers now for good old John over here. So John has the best start thus far. Okay, so I think trash units are going to be the strongest. So units that cost wood and food. But again, food could be tough to come by. I really think first to feudal age and first to sell off all this wood they're banking up is going to be so important here. And maybe monks. I think monks would be the most important because you could just convert other units. And John says, real story, the in-game small trees mod is hard to work with. Yeah, so I have a fun story about that, actually. So with the most recent patch, they made small trees an option in the game, which is very helpful in theory, right? Because uh, when they update the game, all the mods are removed. So what would happen is you get, join the game, the update had removed all your customizations, and then you're suddenly playing with big trees. So to be helpful, they added small trees in the game options, okay? I started to use that, and then I realized the stumps are really, really tiny. And it's really annoying because you can't click the trees properly. It messes with the hitboxes. And you can't even see if there's a tree there. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that. So I'm pretty sure I can share this without getting in trouble. Um, I shared that with the devs. And I was like, hey, uh, really like that addition. It was very nice. But something's wrong with this because the stumps are too small. And it's just not what small trees has been. And they said actually t90 fun fact the what we've done with the game options is the correct proportion of the stump because the stumps for small trees have always been bigger than the tree itself and now that i look at it that is true now it's to me it's like okay well sure great job on the consistency there i'm very glad you realized that the small tree stumps were actually much bigger than they should be but if the point was to make it more convenient maybe just make the stumps larger but anyway so that's why they actually the, the small trees mods made the stumps bigger which might not fit the definition of the small trees so if you've experienced that that is actually why the in-game version looks a little bit different so it is something. For me, it's like, I'm not going to use that then. But in the event I forget my mods, it's good that I can go into the options and toggle it. Still a very good thing. And uh, But yeah, I thought that was interesting. I never really picked up on that. It's extremely obvious, though, if you just look at the trees now. And we have 10 villagers for a lot of players now. Except for Yellow, who is still nowhere near getting another TC again. I don't really know what Yellow's plan is. But hey, they're very close to the middle, guys. They are very close. Um, the next patch, we get the big stump option. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, so red is very close to farm number two. Um, and then teal is already on farm number two. I don't know if anyone's saving for feudal, though. Um, yeah, maybe, right? Like, teal is winning the race to feudal. So, 
think Teal is my favorite to win the game. Not to mention, if we are going to see monks in this game, Lithuanian monasteries do work faster. Uh, Smallhead says the stumps are big, so you can actually see them and click them. They're still not 70 feet tall like the default trees. Well, I, I understand it. It was great attention to detail from them, so it's fine. I don't know why we have a mining camp going up here. That's a hotkey issue, right? Okay, Red 100% thinks that's a house and is going to realize and delete it in about two seconds. One, two, delete. <laughs> that poor villager. <laughs> That poor villager had to die. Oh my god. Oh man, and it's so tough to get villagers here. It's so expensive. Oh god. Oh, oh man. Dude, they need a small TC mod or a small house mod next, so red. Or maybe a big house mod, so. Red can click the houses instead. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. I love it. Oh, poor Red. Like, no one wants to be the guy who makes that mistake. <laughs> but we need those people, man. Again, the mini-map is extremely deceiving. Capture Age was not made for a map this small. It really looks like they've made so much more progress than they actually did. Tux says, only to you, Shulker. Let's be friends. I am noobish. Okay, so they are always going to have to be enemies to each other. But Tux is trying to make this diplomacy now. Um, which, I mean, it's a strat. Shulker is... I probably shouldn't say this because the guy made the map for me. I should be more respectful. He's not the guy to try and diplo with. He doesn't chat much. He He's very unresponsive. By the way, deleting a villager is one thing. If you accidentally delete your TC, you, you only have so much stone to work with, so. And you could use the stone for two extra town centers, or you could, if you felt the need for it, maybe go for a tower. What's the food count? I think that John is doing the right thing. Has stopped producing villagers and is saving for feudal. However, when you get to Feudal Age, you will absolutely need to delete your town center in order to build the market. It's not going to be easy. Let's look at the vision for the players. Okay, so that's Teal's point of view. That's green. Okay, so green can see a bit of orange. They're, they're pretty close to seeing each other. Like These two see each other here. But again, the town centers do not fire arrows because otherwise that would be a mess. Hmm. Um, who is winning? And then John says, I think player eight. And then John in single chat. So like eliminated all the chat to everybody else just for our benefit. Says, it's me. I'm not telling them that. <laughs> okay. And John says, have to wait for the hotfix to nerf me. I like John. John's making a lot of jokes. I like, I like jokes. Jokes are good. So if you've never played Force Nothing before, there is a bit of an art to it because space is the most important thing. So I'm going to use Gray as an example of what not to do. I think Gray's trying to cut to the middle. But unless Gray's trying to cut a box for a house here, there's a lot of like random choppage. Um, you really want to cut one direction is what you want to do. But I can see Gray is torn because Gray wants to cut towards the middle to start the countdown. I guess it's not too bad. It does seem like Gray has a purpose. Oh, Yellow's now on three farms with six villagers. Interesting. Blue says, wow, I just made a big mistake. What What was that? What did you do? Um. John says, you hosted this map. What was your second mistake? I See, I was going to make that joke, but John filled in for me. Didn't have a farmer on one farm. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, I could tell. This one has 153 food. Probably didn't have anyone working on it. 
At least you didn't delete your... At least you didn't delete a villager. That could have been worse. Um... Okay, this is where you start to think, yes. like, how many villagers is optimal here? Do you need more than 15? Red has produced more villagers, but red doesn't have the food. M -m 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 Matthew is actually close and now has the food for feudal, but so does John. And John makes the feudal age buildings and clicks up to feudal age. That lady is stuck. Mills now deleted. Makes sense. John is speed running this map right now. And how many trees do we have? We are down to 841 trees. We have lost one fifth of the trees on the map. Which is actually uh, not as fast as I thought progress would be made here. I thought progress would be a little bit faster. We went normal speed for that reason. I, I could now see what Yellow was planning on, and I respect it. I think not having as many villagers will be a problem. And not being first to the market prices will be a problem. But I still respect what Yellow was going for. Probably thought, how do I get more farm space? I get more farm space by deleting my TC. And so yellow is now down to 100 stone. So it can delete and rebuild the TC one more time. John is speaking to us again. Okay, sell 4,500 wood, click nine times. That's it or I lose. Well, so what John's alluding to here is I've seen players delete their lumber camp and their TC and sell all their wood and then delete their market. And then they don't have the wood for a town center anymore. So, deletes the TC. He really did the math with 9, didn't he? <laughs> Let's hope his math is correct. Everyone freaks out. There goes the market. Now, I'm showing you the resources here. Honestly, I think you might want to even just buy stone to drop a castle. Okay. Sell the wood. Now, the lumber camp's gone. If you still have the market, you could buy it back, but you don't want to do that. Okay. Selling, making sure there's still resources. Now, do you buy food to try and go castle? No. Okay, John's not going to do it. Banks up 1,500 gold, rebuilds the TC in the same spot. I think we need a well played for John. I think that's very well played. And also, too bad for Yellow, because Yellow is going to try and do the same thing, but Yellow's got worse prices to work with now, which has got to feel pretty bad. John is a troll. John says, it's okay. Somebody beat me to selling, got no prices. Yeah, how? You were in Feudal Age first. Hmm. Snippy says, now tower green. Yeah, that would be the play. You could tower both sides. I genuinely think buying stone for a castle would maybe win you the game. But And maybe even buying the foods so you can get the castle. How much is gold really going to matter? I think you could have sold. Looks like he, he actually bought a little. Wait. Oh, he's dropping a tower now. Okay, so Snippy called it. So it was going to drop a tower here. Something green sees. Oh, God, I feel so bad. Though I did say, I said, if you're signing up for this game, know that it might not be fun. And these eight players still signed up to play. Green... We'll lose out on some space, but we'll chop towards orange. And again, the TCs can't fire. But the towers can. And that's going to be painful. And not going to be a pleasant sight. Okay, yellow. Oh, God. Yellow, guys. Yellow sold all the wood. <laughs> yellow sold all the wood and thankfully still has a lumber camp. Did get to 492 gold. But, oh, God, the efficiency. <laughs> oh, no. It's so cramped. It's so cramped. And Yellow says, John sold wood before me. So sad. Yep. Though I will say, Yellow, you don't really have a lot else to look at. So you might want to micro your villagers. I feel bad for you, but also, like, what are you doing? Where are you on the map right now? This is all you see. Oh, God. Um. Okay, so you're just going to wait for the wood to get the TC again. Okay, all right. It's good. It's all fine. It's good. I believe in that. Totally believe in that. Now, Steve says that's not very nice. Oh, my goodness. The, the tower's actually garrisoned. Doing some real damage over here. That could take out Steve's TC. 
Steve is never going feudal age. Oh, man. And John says my apologies. I think John's a little confident right now. What do you guys think? I think if people have more farm space than John, they can come back. Food is really important. Red's going to get... But how many vills does Red have? 15. And Red hasn't been towered. <laughs> um, like Steve has, who's on 16 for now. And oh my god, you got to change your hotkey. Red, this happened before. Something's up with your hotkeys, my friend. Maybe this is, counts as practice, but that is not a house. <laughs> that is a mining camp on a map with no gold or stone. That does not help you here. So last time this happened, a villager was deleted. Um. Okay. Oh my god. I just realized this is thinnest map and not tiniest map. What? God, we went this whole time with that up there? I'm sorry. Thank I was wondering why people said typo a couple times, but I thought they were talking about one of the players. I was like, that could never be me. My spelling's perfect. I got second place in the sixth grade spelling bee. Just FYI. I got invited, okay? <clears throat> I got invited to the... So I, I got top three at my elementary school. No, wait. No, it wasn't sixth grade. Fifth grade. Top three at my elementary school. And I got invited to, like, go to this other bigger school for, like, a regional spelling bee. And I didn't do it because I already got made fun of, and I didn't want to get made fun of more. But I just, you know, I'm a pretty big deal. So, imagine how good my titles would be uh, if I actually had gone to the other spelling bee and pursued that. <laughs> Why did I get second place? Well, the word tiniest really had me. <laughs> Yo, John, let's have a truce. And John says, deal. And <laughs> Bontino says, are you fighting Steve? And I'm not sure if he's asking Steve. Like, are you fighting comma Steve? Like, are you fighting somebody? Or if he's asking John if he's fighting Steve. Either way, John is... John is a couple good shots away from killing all of Steve's villagers. Also, can we talk about how interesting it is that there is a player named Steve Splinter chopping trees here? I find that interesting. Um, we still are at 44 minutes. We now have a tower from red. And oh god. Orange is now in the same predicament. And as mean as it may seem, guys. People have to try and win. Right? Like, there's a reason we're not going to do this that consistently. Because this map is probably a bad idea. It's just, it's just a bad spot to be in. And because the TCs can't shoot arrows, you can't use your TC to shoot down the tower. And Red says, I stab at thee. TC for Shulker. I imagine we've seen some market shenanigans from him. Let's look. Shulker now has um, 500 food. He bought food. He did not act... Wait, what? What ha... What? I'm confused. He doesn't have... He still has 100 gold. What happened? Why would he delete his TC? I don't exactly know what happened with Shulker. Um, but he does have a lot of food. I'm still a little confused. I wonder if new TCs can shoot arrows. He says, Cumans nerfed when rebuilding TC. That's true. I guess they do rebuild their TC slower in Feudal Age. But uh, Green's having a rough time. They could, like, try and work together, these two, to cut towards the middle and away from these guys. I think Red's doing a better job than John is, because Red is actually cutting towards the mid, and John is cutting towards the sides. Hmm. Feudal Age for Tux, who will probably need to play the whole market game as well. And John says, I feel so mean. And, I mean, it is pretty mean. I mean, some people would think it's mean, but it, it's it's part of the game. Like I said, it just kind of comes with the territory here on this map. We were considering doing Diplo, uh, which would have made the starts easier, but I wanted it to be like a true, hectic, messy, painful experience. Wow, lots of vills in queue here for Shulker. What's our vill count out now? Uh, top three vill count. 20 for red, 17 for green, 
16 for Arn. So two of the players that are being towered are currently in the top three of build count. But Red's in Feudal Age, has a tower, and has more villagers, which again makes me think Red is the leader right now. I don't know if these two are going to have many places to go. I wonder, who's going to win the race for the farm space here? This will be the safest farm these two could place. <laughs> First person to place the farm wins. <laughs> I find it so weird that John is hoarding gold. Well, that's because we've had time to sit back and think about it. I have done countless Force Nothing games over the years, and the common strategy is to get the prices so you can get gold, because you can't get gold otherwise. But I'm with you. I, I think banking the gold to the extremes that John has is potentially going to hurt John if John, you know, isn't able to spend it. You can see the market's up for red. Red actually was able to fit a market in there and keep the TC up, which is very nice. And um, red now buys stone. I honestly think you should buy more stone. I could be a really worthy and uh yeah, worthy investment? Yeah. We have a tower here. So red's going to tower both sides. So now Matthew's going to get hit. Oh, God. But guys, gray is making it to the middle. Do you remember when I was critical of gray? I do. And I regret it because gray is a beast. Gray is unobstructed, has not been towered, and will start our countdown soon. Green... Not appreciating the words from John. John said clearly Green is ahead because of the score. And uh, Green says, I'm at 16 pop. You killed half my eco with that tower. Yeah, it's been painful. And there's there's more towers coming on this side as well. Uh, purple hasn't seen a tower. And Yellow says, no, 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 no. Red bully, guys. So we have Red. And we have Teal opting for the tower strat. I want to know, uh, Gray's currently in Dark Age. Is Gray close to going to Feudal? Yes, actually. Red board, I'm a nice guy. Okay. I feel like if you have to say I'm a nice guy, you might not be nice. Oh, God, they're fighting over the farm. <laughs> they're fighting over the farm. Oh, no. That is to Orange's farm, and Green's going to try and steal it, I think. Which, again, this is super annoying because you can't use the TCs to fire. Yeah, Green stole the farm. He's like, my farm. I really needed that. Thank you very much. And apparently, Teal could see some of that. I could see the engagements. And <laughs> Barnes has let me farm. Oh, no. Grace almost through. Almost through. Tiniest map ever. Also, this opens up endless possibilities. We don't have to do nothing maps. Can you imagine, like, I don't know, like, tiny Explodingville? I mean, anything, really. Orange doesn't realize that that farm can be stolen, which is what Green did. You have to just click their farm a bunch of times when they're not farming it currently. <laughs> Nomad? <laughs> no, Nomad would have a lot of TC drops. No explosions, no explosions. We could have we could have arena, but they're all in the same box of stone walls. And green and, and orange are just gonna infinitely fight over the farm here. Oh god, there's a tower here. And yellow says, T90, what do I do? I am so sad right now. Oh no. I have no answers. And also, you shouldn't hear the answers, because the stream should be closed. I imagine this is just another player trying to pass information along to, for our benefit. But I'm pumped for Gray right now, guys. Gray is close. Gray is a 128 wood away. Wait! Oh, I forgot, though. There's 150 wood on the trees. I actually talked to Shulker about that. That may or may not have been my idea. Ah, oh, I thought there were 100 wood trees this entire time. That explains why it's taken a bit longer. Purple says I kind of feel bad for yellow. If you do... You have a tough decision to make because deleting that tower is expensive. Oh, wait a second. Blue is attacking the tower. Because you can run underneath people's TCs. Shulker is, like, sacrificing villagers without loom. Uh, he's sacrificing villagers to make... To give yellow some freedom here. 
Chalker, dude, you gotta get Loom, my friend. Come on, man. You have... You have the gold for it. What are you doing? Alright, well, you know, we got investment from Purple to keep the tower up, so clearly he doesn't feel that bad. We'll see if Yellow can ever get himself out of this hell, or Orange can never get... Or Green. We basically got three players that can't contribute much, which is going to be important space-wise. If players resign and are out of the game, it's better for the others. Shulker's not really the player to save, apparently, as we have the vil continuous vil war between Bontino and Steve Splinter. And both of them are equally screwed as we have an archer range from John. But the most important thing, guys, is we are about to have the countdown started here from Gray. We have 20 wood left on this tree now. Let's go! Let's go! And it will be a 500-year countdown. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but 500 years is like 35 minutes game time. So, you know, it really puts in perspective. Okay, there's the countdown. Again, you only get wood from controlling the middle. But the players will just have got notifications that someone's in the middle. And Teal is nowhere close to the middle because Teal is not cutting towards the middle. I think if Gray were to tower in Feudal here... I think great. No one else might get... Hmm. Well, I guess it depends if someone's in castle. Oh, John's in castle. <gasps> He's been putting archers into the tower. I, I, I don't know, but I feel like Gray could maybe box people out from the middle entirely. Because Teal's like... He's kind of cutting towards the north of the map. Teal, be a pretty person and delete that tower, says Steve. I think John has already accepted that there's a special place in Force Nothing Hell for him. I, I don't think that he believes he can be saved by the AOE gods at this point. Steve says, I give you the stone once I have a market, like in three hours or so. Okay, Steve, you're not helping your cause. But Orange now says, yeah, Red, don't be a bully either. Again, it's tricky. I cannot blame the players for doing this. It, it, these maps were not supposed to be this small. There's a reason that this hasn't existed up until now. But, you know, as exciting as victory can feel and be, it's just as horrible to be on the other side and getting completely obliterated. So, it is what it is, I guess. We have a siege workshop from Shulker. Shulker is cumins. Shulker can make siege in feudal age. If he could kill purple and save Matthew. Oh man, does he have pop space for that? Do you want to spend the gold on that? Oh. He doesn't. I mean, I think he has he could make like one ram, two rams. The ram's like what, 65 gold? I actually forget how much gold rams are. I'm so sorry. Mm, blacksmith deleted. Tux is on the way to the next age. One person has enough... Oh, no. I looked at the wrong resource. Never mind. So no one has enough to be able to make a castle. Enough stone, that is. I wonder if a strategy here would be to trade. <laughs> Agree with purple to make a market and just trade in feudal age. <laughs> I, I honestly think it could be worth it. Oh, man. I mean, you know, like any game mode, the more we do it, the better people get at it. And of course, it, it's tougher here because it's not diplomacy, but trade would be super funny. They'd get like five gold a trip. Yeah, purple will be up, and purple has no gold, though. Remember, population space is a real issue here. John has added Siege to the equation now. John could defeat... Gray. Gray need... Well, uh, can't defeat Gray, because Gray could run to the middle, but... Hmm. I mean, obviously, the Siege could take out the TC for Gray. The good news for Gray is Gray's going to make it to Castle. The bad news for Gray is... I don't know if he's going to be in a safe spot to be able to chop anywhere else. Gray might honestly have to just sit in the middle with Villagers and hope for the best. 
Feel really bad for Steve. We have a, a tower now from Teal. I feel like it's wasted stone. Right? Because you already have Siege. I feel like the Siege is going to do just as much. Shalker's going to hit Castle soon. Grace is bro. We had a truce. Oh, true. They did have a truce. Oh, man. We have crossbowmen even. We have fletching even. Lots of upgrades here from John. That TC could go down before Castle Age is in. I think it will be okay, though. I think it's going to be just at the limit here. And Purple can hear this. They're so close. Capture Age doesn't really do it, but you could hear the shots there. Oh, no. Please make it to Castle. Please make it to Castle. Please, Gray. You deserve it. Repair. I believe. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Ah. Uh, no. No, it was at 99.7%. Oh, the pain. Oh, no. I mean, I don't even know what you'd do with Castle. I guess you could, like, try and make a Siege Workshop. And Gray just says help. But Gray, like, run your vills away. <laughs> You're not helping yourself right now. And try and stay away from the shots. There have been some unfortunate occurrences in this game, to say the least. But Gray still has the control of the middle. So, I mean, there's a chance. Still don't know what these others are really going to do with their castle ages. Um, again, just trying to look and see gold counts. I think Shulker's still considering rams. Mm, let's see. Teal says, too big a target holding the monument. Which is funny, right? He's like, I have to attack the guy in the middle. And Green's like, target, like... Me, you meanie. Teal still hasn't come to the middle, but if Teal comes to the middle, I think Teal is the heavy favorite. He was the heavy favorite before with how he played it. It seems like he's got a path now, right? He's going to cut through. And he, he's going to have army. And he has a ton of siege. And Teal says, scary, scary <laughs> cop spam and late game, guys. I think you need to make it to the middle earlier, and you need, like, knights. And even then, I'm not so sure. And someone in my chat says, Gray is too low elo to win. I'm sorry. Dude, let's not talk about elo. And the tiniest map we've ever seen in Age of Empires 2, which no one watching has experienced yet. With, with like, no space to move around, okay? It's not an elo thing, okay? <laughs> we don't, I don't think ranked play or, like, standard meta or any of that stuff really comes into play here. I think it's just Teal played very well, got a good position, and Gray was unfortunate with the TC, but I don't know if this is necessarily an ELO thing, though he might have less games in total. Okay. Yellow's still garrison, still alive, and actually, did I miss it? Did purple delete it? Purple deleted the tower. I don't think that's good for you, Purple, but it was very respectful. Gray still trying to hold on here, obviously. Hold on the hope that there is a chance. As we have another tower from red, we might see Gray defeated here. Again, there is a siege workshop for Shulker. Shulker has not seen the mangonels yet from John. But John's in Castle Age. John's eco count is 18. And Steve is down to two, by the way. And is. Dropping a new TC. Okay, so the TC is a bit further away from the tower and the siege from John. Let's see what your micro is, Gray. Or how your micro is. I mean, Purple said something about there being siege. So Shulker might have an idea. So I think you just have to go for your own siege. But then it becomes a numbers thing, right? And Teal has the numbers. So actually, as much as we, we said we didn't think Teal would spend the gold, Teal spent the gold, guys. Every last penny. On mangonels and on crossbows. There's a market for, <laughs> for orange. Advance faster to feudal age hype. You better sell that wood fast, bro. <laughs> don't, don't sell all of it. I could see him selling all of it in the panic. 
Is it worth sliding your TC over a little bit? Oh god, this is brutal. Also, in the future, you can hold shift when you click sell, so you sell 500 at a time. Okay, got 200 gold at least. Okay, teal is soon going to go through. Shulker is 100 wood away from going through here. Teal is 88, 41. Teal's going to be through. This is really bad for Shulker. It might make Shulker make some siege, but I don't know if he's going to be able to make enough of it. Red is close to coming through as well, but needs to micro the villagers in order to get through. They don't know how strong the other players are right now. They do know that obviously a lot of players are struggling. 350 years, as much as I love to hope for Grey to win, I don't think Grey can do it. He's going to call the GG. Could stay in the game a bit longer, but also probably recognizes can't do much here. And all right. Fontino says, let's just stay home, guys. And Steve says, yeah, just like 2020. Yeah, it's COVID. But instead of COVID, it's random towers and arrows. And Grace says, John, you traitor. I mean, it's fair. They had an agreement, but it is also a free-for-all game. It's not a true diplomacy game. They were still on paper enemies the entire time. Okay. Purple says red is in a pretty good spot because of some vision. Being Byzantines gets those extra vision upgrades. But doesn't see that Teal is coming to town. And this is a problem. The creator of the map, Shocker, the creator of this beast says whelp. And, um, you know, he could make one mangonel. But... I don't know what more he can really do to move out now. And Teal is going to drop another tower. So continuously buying or selling wood, buying some gold, and just forcing his way across the map. We might see the GG called uh, before the monument even matters here, guys. How does anyone stop Teal right now? Looks like John has really figured this out. There's no recovery chance for... Uh, for green and for orange. I do like what orange has done though. Orange has basically said, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. And is has made his own tower and is just kind of you know, giving him a taste of his own medicine. Shulker is over here now. Again, headed away from the action, but also from the middle and into some purple towers and now can't really escape. I think Shulker's going to do the same thing. I think Shulker's... <laughs> These guys, they're like, well, if I can't do anything, I'll take out the other people. You're going to see a ram to go after purple and a tower to harass purple. Still no loom, by the way, which is kind of important. I mean, the ram should be able to be battered down by villagers. Yeah, but it's, it's just going to give, you know, Teal a little bit of a head start here. <laughs> is red through yet? Red's really the only hope for players here to try and somehow beat Teal in this. Still don't know how he'll do it because there's so much army. Ram will go down. Tower's up, though. And Tower's garrison. Like, oh, purple's going down next. Yeah, I was thinking maybe one mango shot for Shulker. But even still, even if he kills four, right? There's still two more. Teal's still got villagers working. And there's just military, right? It's like... Military versus no military. By the way, guys, when we first were going to start this, I considered doing high resources to give them a bit more of a boost. But high resources starts with 800 stone. Can you imagine how impossible it would have been? It would have been towers everywhere. It would have been a tower fest had we done that. I'm really glad we didn't. Obviously, um, you know, some players would have been like, that would have been great because then I would have had more food and then I could have actually made it to feudal. Um, yeah, in hindsight, that was probably a good decision. I don't know if this could be considered a good decision, this map. But, you know, we had to try it. Steve still fighting, still unsure on what to do here. Gray obviously out of the game at this point. Rip to him. Snippy, we're not trying that next. <laughs> Teal still hasn't taken the monument? You have to imagine Green would figure that out at some point, though. Red out of the university, probably for guard tower. And can't 
chop through because the villagers can't drop off the wood. Byzantine HP will help purple here. But Teal is even repairing the mangoes. We'll go directly for these towers. We'll take out the towers. This is He's got the meta down, Pat. Faster to Feudalage, faster to the Siege. And this snowballs considerably as Shocker's like, I got a chance, guys. I can do this. <laughs> I created this. Sorry. <laughs> now I'm, I'm seeing why everyone else is upset. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's not what Shulker sounds like, by the way. I've never heard him speak, but at least I don't think so. No one's happy with John. We knew this guy was up to no good. Red did complete Guard Tower, deletes the university now, does also have Bod Canero, and will cut through. And John just had some mercy there. And Tuck says, I really liked your joke in the beginning. Show mercy? Nice. Compliment his sense of humor. That's a good strat. Clearly, it's not good enough, though. Hey, th this could be costly. Okay, adding a stone gate. That's also costly if you build it. Uh, uh, there's too much of a choke point, I think. Gray says, if I win this, even though I'm dead, I will write this in my resume. Highly suggested. Listen, there are some uh, very successful people out there who have put their community game resume on their... Uh, I forgot. Oh, I ruined the joke. Okay, they put their community game performances on their resume. And they've, they're doing great things. Highly suggested. You go through the whole interview process, and then you say, hey, one last thing. One time, I was in a T90 official community game. I got third out of eight and i could have probably got first if i wanted to backstab a long-term friend but i chose not to and they'd be like wow that's the, that's the type of teamwork we really want here at this company you should absolutely come come hire us and what was your starting salary it's like well uh you know I, i'd be okay with you know maybe 200 gold like no we gotta we gotta get banking and give you more yeah bad jokes i know but i'm running out of content here uh teal expanding with farming eco that's now five farms. And purple trying to survive. Shulker will outlast purple, that's for sure. And, um... He'll still micring. And hey, red took the middle. Purple about to be defeated. Goodbye, purple. Well played to you, Tux. GG. Thank you for <laughs> experiencing this nightmare. And thank you to everybody for experiencing this nightmare so far. This is now a 1v1. This is a 1v1 between Red and between Teal. If Red could make Siege, it is doable. Red has 300 gold, but Red has not seen Manganels yet. Or at least thought, like, maybe I need Siege. A lot of that's because you don't have space for the Siege Workshop. You'd have to get rid of the market. I think Red's going to realize pretty quick, though, that you need to maybe delete... Oh, it's tough to delete this, then, because then you don't have pop space. I think you actually delete your market or your TC. There's John. Now, having Bod Canero and Guard Tower should help a lot here. John can't repair Siege forever because you do spend gold to repair Siege. This Guys, this could be John overextending. Look at this. And we have a Siege Workshop from Red. Look at all the Siege going down. Oh! Oh, that was a big one. That was costly. Oh, so close. 189 years remaining. John had a lot right in this game, but never went for the guard tower. I didn't think it'd be realistic to really get there. I think Red just deleted some villagers. Not by mistake this time, but to get population space for Manganels. Hmm. I think if John sat back and, and could continue to sit back and wait a bit, it could be good. By the way, yellow will be defeated next. We have Shulker making a stable. <laughs> and Shulker does not have the food to make anything out of that stable, but also doesn't have the stone because of the tower to make a new TC. Well, I guess we'll save up for one scout. Knights or light calf? Ah, I think... The tower's too strong for Cav to work next to it. 
Um, but yeah, like if someone could get a knight here, obviously it'd be good. Keep in mind, Teal's got crossbows. The most expensive siege losses these guys have ever faced. And Red's mangonel went down, but now the guard tower is hitting because Teal's distracted. Uh oh, John. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! He's down to one. So in order to get gold, you have to sell food or you have to sell wood. Obviously, there's a decent amount of wood to come by. How many trees do we actually have? We have um, 392 trees remaining. Actually, there's not going to be a lot of wood in this map. Mm, red is really forcing the issue. Remember, there is a tower here from Teal. And bam. Oh, good shot. Reminder to look at the minimap. The minimap's hilarious. Rams coming in as a distraction. And great shot from John. Very good shot. Uh, Shulker just lost a villager to that tower. Shulker is still saving up for scouts. I'll keep you updated. Manganel moves in. Manganel goes down to the tower. I, I mean, that guard tower is so insane, dude. It's such a good guard tower. By the way, green is one villager. <laughs> green is that vill. Um, and then orange has some, but orange is just keeping them alive for now. It can't really do much because they'll get hit by towers everywhere. Barracks. Well, you know what you do? You build the barracks, okay? Then you delete the barracks. Then you add a stable. The more I think about it, the more I think a knight or two could really help red. And I think you stop making vills as well. Like, you're you are well at capacity there. Um, Orange is finally going to make a move here. Uh, that's going to lead to Orange losing all these villagers. Trying something. I respect it. And again, I apologize so profusely to you, Orange, and everybody else for the pain that you are enduring right now for my content. Teal, Teal's got to learn, man. He continues to underestimate these guard towers. He doesn't realize the range is that insane. And oh! Oh! Saves it. <laughs> Shocker made a step lancer. <laughs> and he deleted the stable. That's all he's got, guys. Oh, and Teal made a knight, but it's trapped. <laughs> Yo, get over there with the step lancer. Oh, no. Micro it. Shocker, this is all you have. Bro. Shocker, this is what you wasted your whole life for. Okay, well, that. You know, sometimes you just got to ask questions. All right, Red got annoyed with Orange doing that. He had given up on focusing on Orange for a while. Now, he's going to go after the TC because Orange decided to be a little pest. Um, we have 100 years. And Red is building up out of the barracks here. Uh, it looks like Spearman, but doesn't have houses right now. Doesn't have the population space. Crossbows could fire arrows longer than my lance. No wonder that were victorious. I shall abdicate. Well played from the AI. That is Shulker who made this map. Thank you, Shulker. We've really appreciated this. At least I have. I'm not sure the players have. John continues to trap his own knights here, which is hilarious to me. But he will take out the barracks and still has control of the middle. And Red is still very frustrated, it seems, with Orange's presence. And Orange is probably thinking, well, I'm going to distract you as long as I possibly can because you towered me, you meanie. Also, Yellow's dropped the market here. Yellow's in feudal. He's definitely going to try and buy stone to bake towers against red, right? Um. Okay, sold. Wood. Bought stone. But the price of stone is too high. The price of stone is too high. What's the price? Oh, no. He didn't know the price is all. No, it's too expensive. Oh, oh no. A Shulker's tower is still firing and Red's tower is going to fire as well. Ah! Oh, he wanted to make a tower because he was annoyed at Red, just like, you know, Orange is. He's stuck because of the prices. Meanwhile, Orange says this is fine. And again, like, currently, Teal's in a position to win this game, and Red has to wait until Orange is finished. I think he will be finished soon. I'm going to 
turn off the market events because they're going to be using the market a lot. I don't know how much wood. There's still 3,000 wood in the bank right there. I mean, Red just needs to pull either a couple more villagers to attack the TC or just needs to attack those repair villagers. This is wasting a lot of time here. Like, Red. Uh, well, no, it'll go down. It'll go down. Okay. Yellow got the stone? Okay. So, can Yellow... No, no, no. Yellow only has 100 stone. I think he wanted to get to 125. Red now has house space, which is important. Red has three mangonels. And Teal has a lot of knights. Do they have upgrades? Uh, not really, no. Bam? Oh, that attack round was not the prettiest. <laughs> Arn says, I managed to save a young couple. <laughs> Steve's just repopulate. <laughs> Guys, these guys have been dead for 20 minutes, and they're still in this game just giving us content. One for one with the mangoes there. Now, if Teal's overconfident and sends the knights in towards this tower, he could lose all the knights because there's a tower back here. <laughs> um, but again, I think he just sits on this end, and there's no way he can be displaced from the middle. But let's see. Here he goes. Again... Like, I get red garrisons here and repairs this tower a little bit. There's a chance that Teal loses everything. I think he's regretting. He's realizing now he's losing everything. Red's also kill killed his own villagers there. Oh, good recognition from Teal to back away. We have had Teal dominating pretty much this entire game. We have four players remaining, but this is base. Oh, five? No, yellow's de defeated? Gone? Okay, he lost Seville. Anyways, respect to you, Yellow. I feel bad yet again. You got towered like you did. But, uh, you know, blame Shocker for it, honestly. He's the one who created the map. I agree that Monks would be an awesome move. You can convert more, like, other population. You can also heal up your units. I like the micro from Red trying to tempt Teal in towards the tower time and time again. But Teal has earned that lesson too many times. 14 army versus 4. 15 years remaining. And again, we did not expect this to be a close competitive situation. At least I didn't. It's just meant to be over the top and ridiculous. We even made it less punishing. We made it so TCs couldn't fire arrows. Would have been a completely different game if TCs could fire arrows. And these players put themselves through a lot <laughs> to uh, somehow... You know, get to this stage of the game. Like, we're almost two hours in game time, which is insane, actually. This has been incredibly long. But we're at three and a half years now. And unless Teal leaves the middle right now and resets the countdown, which would make it very interesting, I think this will be the end of the smallest map ever in Age of Empires 2. That's not clickbait. I, I Maybe somebody else did this, like, when the patch came out this week. But the smallest map ever in Age of Empires 2. Smallest map possible. And we also made it force nothing. Uh, if it was any smaller, it would be forest. No, it would just be nothing, right? It would just be nothing. Uh, good game. Uh, well played from John. Again, he really picked up on how to play that early, I think, also. That extra 100 food that Lithuanians had, a big, big bonus there. I think you had that combined with a player who could figure things out quite nicely. Um, let's look at resources collected, right? Uh, and, and KD and all that good stuff. 82 kills there for John. Uh, 11 deaths for John. That's not too shabby. Um, economically, we did have John collecting more. Obviously, all that gold income was from selling things and collecting a lot of wood and, and a lot of food uh, to be able to sell off is obviously quite good. Um, was pretty sad for some of the others. Again, I my salutes go out to them. My respect goes out to everyone who signed up for this game. I did say this will likely not be fun to play. This is likely not a good idea to sign up. Uh, I knew it would be somewhat brutal. But... I want to know, with people on YouTube, I want to know what potential you see for maybe like an actually competitive game, something more competitive than Forest Nothing, because we can still do the 36 tiles by 36 tile map. Apparently, you can also make maps bigger than Ludicrous now, too. Uh, I'm less excited to look into that, but at the same time, this one took over an hour of real time, so maybe 
that would take the similar amount of time. Uh, what else did we have in this game? We had some technology stats. I think the, the guard tower surprised me a little bit. Trade nothing with five gold per trip? Oh, boy. Regicide? Yeah, maybe. Get pros to play on it? Not a chance. Uh, and here's some of the other stats for you in the game if this had all mattered to you. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say. As always, I'm going to keep investigating new things, just trying to stretch the limits of the game. For community games, we'll do the wild and ridiculous, and then the more standard things, which is Regicide and Diplo. Um, I, honest thought, though. Honest thought. You know those players out there love their monks, right? What if we did a 1v1 arena game between like two arena pros, right? And they start with walls. Let's go back to the start so you can give you an idea. TC here, gold stone walls. TC here, gold stone walls. And there's like five relics in the middle. <laughs> the tiniest little arena or like tiny islands, right? So you've got like, whoop, little bit of land, whoop, little bit of land, water. Like six fishing, it's like six deep fish, <laughs> a little neutral island. <laughs> like the games probably wouldn't be that good. And I think the monks would be very strong because population is so important. But I don't know, it's just an idea. Uh, and I, I think I could get high level players interested in playing a couple games. We're not talking the biggest names, right? But when I think the arena stuff, I think like players like John Slow, some of the clowns would maybe be in on that. Do a couple fun little show matches. Finally, the neutral islands would be uh, too small for archery ranges to fit. But yeah, GG. I had fun. Thank you, everybody, for watching, of course. And I will see you all next time.